we are out here for what I fully expect to be the last trip of 2023. Um, kind of bittersweet. It's been a very interesting ride up and down. We've had a lot of fun. We've had a lot of big changes from getting a new boat to um, just kind of changing the amount that we're able to fish. But it's been a really, really good year. Just kind of taking a minute to reflect. And what's really interesting is I expected it to be very, very cold. It was white knuckle driving the entire way to the lake. As you guys saw in the intro, it was snowing this morning and uh, it made it really sketchy. Probably shouldn't have made the drive to the lake this morning, but I get out here, the birds are chirping. There's no one else out here. It's super serene and peaceful. To be honest, I just needed this. It's been about a month since I fished last. Man, I can't explain to you how good it feels to be back out here on the water. So today, kind of the goal is to catch some of these wintertime staging fish that are moving into those winter areas. Probably throw blade bait, swim bait, maybe a jerk bait if I see some suspended or I can get some to come up to it. But really, it's just about getting out here one last time and enjoying the, the last bit of the season. Um, we might have a little bit of unseasonably warm weather, get out one more time, but I expect this probably to be the last, especially if we really catch them. So that's kind of the game plan for today. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, it's really just meant to be some fun, get out here chasing some of these you know, late season fish and uh, take you guys along for the ride. I really appreciate all the support this year. Um, this is the first time that you guys are actually seeing the interior of the Champion now that it's done with the marine mat down here. And huge shout out to marine mat. If you guys are looking to re-carpet or resurface your boat, I would definitely suggest checking out marine mat. It was a really, really easy process. Um, incredible looking but there's so many more benefits than that without further ado let's kind of toss you guys on my chest and let's do some fishing let's go Dude, that is a super light bite, and he just touched it. He didn't even, like, hit it. Wow. I mean, you're going to lose some on a blade, which stinks, but... <laughs> I don't even know if you meant to eat it. There's so many fish here, though. Like, look at them, right on that edge. Felt giant, though. I don't know if that's a bass. It's fighting kind of funny. Maybe. It's a nice one. It's a really nice fish. They're choking that blade. See, I have to dead stick that blade. That's a long, chunky one. Both hooks. You know, super long, super fat, healthy fish. We're gonna get them right back. It's cold out here, so we don't want to keep them out too long. Might have figured out a little bit of something. Had to slow it down. Another thing when you're fishing a blade, especially in cold water, you want to be able to set the hook into those fish and get a good hook set where like you penetrate their really hard mouth. But I also loosen the drag up a lot. Like it slips quite a bit when you set the hook and fight a fish. But that was just a pressure bite. I didn't really feel it. I just wanted to lift up and I didn't feel it vibrate, so I set the hook. Whew, that's fun. Wow, that feels big. It's taking me right to deep water too. 
What is this? What is this? A big walleye. Pike? Yeah. Yeah, that blade bait is gone. I think. Where's the blade? Oh. I must have had him on the side or something. Thanks, Pike. I was really hoping you were a giant smallmouth or something, but... Oh, it's gonna keep you warm if you get into fish like that all day. I've been out here 20 minutes, maybe? Two fish. Should have had a third. First one was for sure a smallmouth. I just missed it. Water temp is 38 degrees. 8.54 in the morning. So it's not first light. Not too much after first light either. I think first light was about 8 o'clock. There might be a bite window. We'll see. One of the biggest things about fishing a blade bait is obviously um, how fast you can get that blade to activate, which is why I fish it on the spinning rod. I feel like I can get that blade to start up a lot faster with lighter line, but also the cadence with which you fish the bait. So you need to really play with a bunch of different cadences, how high you lift it, um, how much you flop it, whether it's dead sticked when they bite it, just all of the different things that go into fishing a blade. I think cadence is probably one of the most important and overlooked. So really it's how fast you can get that blade to work, the cadence you fish it, and then the color and size. Those to me are the three key things when you're fishing a blade bait that will allow you to have, I think, more success than other guys out there. If you pay attention and you can really dial in, you know, those three key ingredients. I think that's great. Is how you want them to eat the blade. Oh yeah, that is a big one. There's a big lot of fish on the other side of this point. So what I'm doing is sitting out off of it on the back side, casting it across the point and bringing it up. Um, basically my goal here is to be as stealthy as I can and Hopefully be able to catch a few more like that. That fish is so big. There's a ton of fish right on the other side of that point. I'm kind of getting up on them a little bit more than I want to. Three and three quarter. Thanks, fish. See how big this one is. Super long. Almost five pounder. Four point eight nine. Incredible. Thanks, buddy. Whew. What a fish. What a fish. 
Today's been crazy so far. It's, um, what is it? Just after noon, so we've been out here for about four hours. And I've caught a bunch of fish. Probably have just about 20 pounds, a five pounder, another one right about four and three quarter. It's just been a lot of fun. I've been blade baiting off these first drops and a lot of these fish are hanging out in these schools anywhere that you have like small contour changes and little turns in the bottom. The bottom gets a little bit harder there and these fish are just all setting up on that harder bottom area where you have those little turns. It's been a lot of fun today. This is kind of what I wanted to do is just come out here one last trip, get out here, get to throw some winter techniques get to do this wintertime fishing stuff and uh, man it's really paid off it's been a lot of fun it's been really relaxing there's no one else out here on the water with me I hope you guys are enjoying this video as much as I'm enjoying making it because I'm catching a lot of fish I'm having a lot of fun it just feels really really good let's get back to fishing it's funny because I'm catching fish but they're just so far in between bites these fish are eating it so funny they're just kind of getting heavy on it I switched up to a half ounce blade, see if that'll make any difference from a 5 8 to a half. We'll see if that'll help these fish eat it a little bit better. You know, it takes a little bit longer to get down there, but maybe it'll help. We'll see. Mother. Gosh, how did that happen? I was really hooked into that tree. Well, that's a good fish. It's not a nice one. That fish was like shallow. I was only in about 14 or 13 foot of water as opposed to 22. There's a lot of fish up here. I had to eat that bait when it popped off that piece of wood that I was hung on. So it's not like he's, it's not like they're not aggressive. I'm wondering if with the sun, these fish aren't pushing up onto these flats, like especially the aggressive ones. That's a big one. That's a pretty good one. That's a pretty, pretty, pretty good one. with him too. Three and a half, four pounder. Super nice fish. Thanks, buddy. That's probably right around 18 to 20. Missed one right before that too. Again, it's just a pressure bite. They're not like really eating it that, that great. But switched up to that goby color blade. I don't know if it made a difference. Half ounces or eights. Um, I just wanted to change colors. So, it's been catching them. Wow, that was aggressive. I'm struggling to believe that. Oh, there's a small ball. Real big small mouth. That's a real big small mouth.
he had that hard. Mostly Smallmouth had just been mouthing this thing. Oh, look at that fish. It's a beautiful fish. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Fish. Oh, sweet. That fish crushed it so hard. Most of these fish have really been mouthing that bait. Oh, wow. That fish crushed it too. It's another big one. big on it. I'm gonna toss him in a white bowl just for a minute. There are a lot of fish down there. Look at all those fish. All those dots are fish. Right there. I just wanted to stick that fish in there while I did a couple things and now I'll get a quick weight on it. But look at how girthy that fish is. You guys in the sunlight. Look at how girthy that fish is. It's so fat. It's so big. Let's see how long this fish is. Just over 20 inches. So just over 20 inches long. Probably almost five pounds. Maybe goes five, I don't know. Zeros. It's five pounder. Wow. Thanks fish. What a beautiful fish. I'm gonna get a couple of pictures and then I'm gonna put it back. Thanks buddy. Back to the depths for this beautiful fish. Thank you, baby. Five pounder. There she goes. <sighs> that is awesome. That feels so good. What a beautiful fish. So that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up the 2023 season. Just loaded the boat up. I'm ready to head back home and really have no complaints about the year. It went really, really well. I learned a lot. You know, got a new boat, changed into a new chapter of my fishing life, which is exciting and scary and maybe a little bit sad, but I mean, this is just kind of where we're at right now. So got to cap the year off on an awesome trip, caught about, I don't know, 15, 20 fish, maybe 22 to 24 pounds, a couple five pounders, some four pounders, all how I like to be catching them on a blade bait. Um, got to catch a couple on a Dominky rig through the swim bait a little bit. It's just a lot of fun today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video, go down and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments or want to check out any of the gear that I mentioned in today's video, it's going to be linked down in the description below. If you guys want to see some in-depth tips on how to catch winter fish, click this video right here. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, tight lines. God bless. Pursue your passion. Have a great end to 2023.